everyone and welcome to another oil painting and chill session. This painting is called The Unsunken Ship, as you can see here, as I'm mucking about. And I used Gamblin gel mediums and some Gamblin paints and some M. Graham paints. And I'm just getting ready to film here. And I opened up a linen panel, which is what I like to paint on. And I was just thinking of ideas because I hadn't gotten any by this point. I don't know if you can see close up because the lighting isn't great, but these are some old works that I created when I was at school. And I was just kind of checking out my progress from, you know, years ago. And this was when I was kind of a bit annoyed because my ring light wasn't working properly. And so as being the expert I was, I just kind of fiddled around with it and it made no difference. Then I started making faces into my camera because I was kind of annoyed. And I saw this cat in my garden. It was so cute. And I don't know why I posted this because it's like from so far away it looks like a ghost and here is I've just started painting and um, I'm starting off with the base of the ship now I had this concept of this ship kind of about to sink but not really so it looks like it's going to sink and it's been weathered and really battered by some crazy storm because we have some really uh, fluctuating weather at the moment so I thought I'd create something inspired by that and this stormy sea was going to be a very interesting colour palette because I didn't want to use the traditional like sort of blue for the sea and blue for the sky and I wanted to create some really interesting shades and tones so I mixed a lot of green gold with some burnt umber so I was really experimenting with my brushwork keeping it quite loose and quite free I didn't want it to be as tight or as super sort of hyper uh, realistic as such but just so you could see some brush marks there because I'm obviously working within a quite a short time frame so I couldn't exactly iron them all out however I wanted that loose effect and what's interesting about this is I of course thought about the colour scheme and because the colour scheme is a little bit unique I wasn't expecting to get any sort of reaction from that I just thought that it still looked like sea but uh, I did get someone on TikTok saying why is the sea green which I thought was pretty hilarious oh here's me just eating lunch and uh, I was just having some salmon on a tortilla with uh, guacamole and this was me eating and I was trying so hard not to laugh because filming myself eating I find to be quite funny and then I went for a little walk and as you can see the moon is out at three o'clock oh my goodness and this is some random tree stump uh, so as I was saying someone sent me a message on TikTok saying that they were questioning as to why the sea was green that I painted on it so I thought it was really funny but in actual fact with a lot of uh, kind of light turquoise mixed in with the green so it wasn't exactly just a sort of flat green as you can see here and I'm obviously adding a lot of sea foam but it's so interesting to see the reaction or hear the reaction of people uh, but of course it is a unique slightly unique colour scheme however to me I've always uh, I've rather I've seen many seas that have a lot of green reflection in them so it, to me it wasn't an odd colour choice but obviously <laughs> it was probably unique to some other people and I used the M. Graham paints and I use the translucent ones because I felt these these always give me a really great effect when I'm painting water and so I like to use the translucent colours and uh, please don't look at my jumper here because I have a big yellow paint stain on it a bit of a disaster so <laughs> I do remove it later on but I saw it on camera when I was playing this back and I thought oh my god that looks terrible and so this big wave is kind of crashing away and with the sky I really wanted it to be super contrasting because I didn't want it to be just a standard blue sky white clouds and quite often after storms I think you sometimes get this like very interesting colour tone in the sky and so I wanted to create that after the storm effect so this ship has been through a really wild sea and it's just struggling it's kind of got through this really dark and difficult time and now the sky is clearing up and you see these sort of orangey pinkish clouds and this sort of soft calm 
and then I had a little break and this is so British anyone who's British will get this this is a crumpet I ate the whole thing and not just half I don't know why I only filmed half and you can see I'm so interested in the crumpet at that point <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention to what I was filming and I wanted to go back and just add some highlights here because I had filled in the ship but uh, I really wanted there to be a kind of strong cast of light in the centre of the painting and for them to sort of fade away into darkness uh, towards the edges of the water and so I added some highlights into the waves and into the clouds in the centre of the painting and so that there was this um, so your eye would have land on that particular section and so that was it and I really hope you like this painting and that you enjoyed this little vlog this video is quite short but I hope to make it longer next time thank you so much for watching everyone and have an amazing week